The message from the top is that Sweden is safe. Crown Princess Victoria came to pay her respects on Saturday morning. After her, a stream of public officials, including for the second time the Swedish Prime Minister, who then walked the five blocks to Parliament. Stefan Lofvin was reportedly only a few hundred metres from the attack when it happened. If that shook him, he didn't let it show. The grief with the, with the families that have uh, lost their loved ones, near ones, uh, but we're also determined to, to continue to be an open society, a democratic society, and that is something I'm and totally confident that the Swedish people also feel. Some of those watching on didn't share that confidence. The world changed, so Sweden has, has to change as well. Otherwise, it will be too late. Perhaps initially, I think everybody will go back to normal, but I think there will be uh, more intense security around government buildings and uh, around, you know, the shopping areas and, and, and pedestrian areas, I suppose, mm. just like in any other capital. But we didn't think it was going to happen here, actually. No. But it has, and now police must find out how. They've confirmed that a 39-year-old man, originally from Uzbekistan as the suspected driver, he is now in custody. He was known to security services and reportedly had a registered address in Sweden. Authorities won't give away much more. We, we are focusing on, on, of course, on how he has entered the country, how, where has it been, what kind of contacts that he had, uh, what can we see from his friends and so on. But that is a part of the investigation which we cannot, of course... Uh, Do you believe at this stage that he was connected to a wider network? We cannot uh, either confirm or exclude that at this moment. They also confirmed a flammable object in the truck, removed from the scene on Friday night for further forensic investigation. If confirmed as explosives, that would mark this act out from others in the recent past. Police are still on guard here. Parts of the capital remain closed off to the public, who are themselves being warned to remain vigilant. The risk of copycat attacks, not just here in Sweden, we now know, remains very real. And in the early stages of this investigation, it's still not clear whether there could still be a threat more directly linked to the terror that unfolded here. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Stockholm.